At six, we are learning exactly how many delegates Democrats running for president won in Texas. Joe Biden earned 111 of the state's delegates. Bernie Sanders took 102. Michael Bloomberg won 10 and Elizabeth Warren took five. Texas awards some delegates based on the statewide vote total, but most are based on results in individual state Senate districts. We want to catch you up on some other big headlines out of last night's election, and that includes a big shakeup at the Texas Railroad Commission, the state agency that regulates oil and gas. Commissioner Ryan Sinton lost the Republican primary to challenger Jim Wright. Wright owns an oil field waste services company. He will be facing the winner of the Democratic runoff between Krista Castaneda and Robert Alonzo. He's a Republican known for wearing a jester's hat and calling for President Donald Trump to be removed from office. But Republican voters still picked Robert Morrow to advance to the runoff for a state board of education seat representing Central Texas. Party leaders say voters simply didn't know who they were choosing. He had a familiar name compared to his two opponents, and I think it served him well. So um, always it's important when you're voting down ballot to, to be informed about the candidate you're, you're voting for. In 2016, Travis County Republicans elected Morrow as their county chairman. He was removed from office a few months later. Endorsements from President Trump helped two Texans running for Congress. One of those races was in District 11, which includes most of our Texas Hill Country. San Angelo Republican August Pfluger beat out nine other candidates, avoiding a runoff. President Trump endorsed the Air Force veteran right before early voting began. Another candidate backed by President Trump advanced to a runoff in District 13 in the Panhandle. Lonnie Jackson is a retired Navy Rear Admiral who served as the president's personal physician. You know, uh, any, of the, any of the candidates in this race, would, in this particular district, in the most conservative district in the United States, total Trump country here would die for the president's endorsement, right? I got it because the president trusts me. Jackson faced controversy during his time at the White House. The president nominated him to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs. But that nomination was withdrawn amid allegations of misconduct. 